starts with one of us having an idea, something that's been brewing in our heads for a while. And that usually means it's going to be some kind of adventure. Guy is a 3,400 meter peak here in Chamonix. And uh, this day we had decided to get up there in the lightest and fastest way possible. The route starts off from the valley floor, starting with this slabby scramble that acts kind of like a warm-up for the rest of the day. <laughs> Some 23,000 years ago, most of Northern Europe was covered in ice. The ice sheet was so big you could ski continuously for four and a half thousand kilometers across it. A lot has happened since then. A long day there. <laughs> to get to a Gideman, you first have to go down to the Mary Lask Glacier by climbing metal ladders and then cross it diagonally. On the other side, you have to climb up the same kind of ladders. Then there's a traverse that will take you to where the real scrambling starts. Shines a little salt on my body, but I'm up on ice, except for the Ja, dubbel lyssa är till och med värre. Only 30 years ago, this glacier was reachable by going down a three step ladder. But today, there are almost 600 steps down to the ice. Det är hårt det här alltså. <laughs> the smaller and lower glaciers are the ones that are melting the fastest. It's almost twice as fast in the European Alps as the global average. But that doesn't mean much until you're actually moving in these environments regularly. And you can see with your own eyes. The speed at which the glaciers are disappearing is frightening. When you think of the accelerating pace, it gets quite clear that we need to do something about it right now. There's no time to waste. Reaching the summit is always such a special feeling. No matter how big or small or difficult or easy it is, the, the feeling stays the same. It's one of completion, one of accomplishment. You've done what you set out to do.
But the fact remains, the mission is never finished at the top. It's not a success until you're safely down again. Scrambling up is the easy part. It's way harder to go down again. It's such an unnatural feeling to climb down. It's the same with climbing trees. Like when you go up, it feels so natural. And then when you go down again, it feels like your body forgets how to move. Peter is having a climbing course. <laughs> we brought all the gear. Might as well use it to access the snow, even though it's quite easy. But it's kind of yeah, dark hole. It's a bittersweet feeling being on a glacier. To me, it's as close as we might get to time travel. We look back into the past through generations of eyes, but at the same time, we can see into the future, where we're headed. And honestly, it looks kind of dark right now. But I believe there's hope. There's still time to turn this around. If we let this be the crack where the light eventually gets in. That's the sweet part of the feeling speeding down a glacier, running through time. <laughs>